Okay, welcome back, and we're on to the final part of the Amsterdam Soccer Game A to Z. Woohoo! At last, and uh, on this last part, we'll be first taking a look at Super Soccer uh, by Imagine Software, who later became Ocean Software, or at least were swallowed up by them. And uh, this has got a fair range of options, and as usual, it's got the Match of the Day theme tune become quite uh, obligatory on the soccer games. Anyway, let's start the match. Or at least uh, choose the controls quickly. I think, yeah, get my joystick there. Sorted. Right, here we go. Um, no idea why the uh, lines are at um, a, a strange skewed angle, but anyway, here we go. Kick off. Alright, we've already got some jerky scroll in there and some uh, colour clash with the sprites. Um, it's a little bit slow and clunky. In fact, it's really difficult to control. Um, the ball doesn't stay glued to your feet. It's uh, You have to run onto the ball and direct it. And basically, you've got, you can see at the top left and top right there, um, you've got a speed meter. Um, and uh, the further you're running in a certain direction, the uh, the further the speed increases um, but if you want to turn in the opposite direction if you just suddenly go the opposite way then you lose all your speed and have to start again so what you've got to get used to doing is doing sort of slight turns um, but with the clunky controls it's quite awkward um, well it's, it's got some nice touches I suppose like with the free kick like here you can uh, sort of place your men in position and stuff um, you got a power meter for your kicks as well and also an energy level for your players which decreases over time but unfortunately this isn't very good at all um, I tried to like this a lot um, it's one of the first football games I ever had I think it came on a compilation um, but it's just too hard to get the hang of and for example there <laughs> my keeper's going the opposite direction and it's too late to turn and uh, in fact he's rooted to the spot <laughs> Not very good at all, a 5 out of 10. Let's move on. World Championship Soccer. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this is an arcade conversion or not. Is it uh, by Sega? It may, it may well be. Anyway, by Elite Software. Usually did some very good uh, games actually, like uh, Commando and, and Ghosts and Goblins and stuff. And uh, it's got some very nice presentation of music so far, if a bit lacking in colour. But well, that's okay, this is just the option screen, so we're just going to choose our team. Very arcadey kind of feel so far. We're going to choose our uh, players. Obviously, you've got to have Shilton in goal, you've got to have Pierce in there as well. Psycho, as he was known. Okay, let's just, let's just go through and get these selected quickly. Got to have Gaza there. So this is all looking uh, nice and pleasant so far, well presented, etc. So uh, when I first booted this up, my hopes were high. This game, and the first match we're playing bloody Germany. And yeah, oh dear. As you can see, it's got some, uh, it's monochrome graphics really. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, you can do um, loft kicks and stuff. But hang on there, what's going on there? The ball bounces off the, uh, off the sides and off the backs. So, <laughs> no goal kicks, no throw ins. This may well, this might as well be an indoor soccer game. And uh, it's very clunky to control. Um, it's it's very choppy. Um, you seem to. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to, like I said before. It's hard to know what's going on here. It's very unplayable. Uh, so another shit football game. 
Uh, my expectations were high and it's been uh, cruelly dashed. Anyway, let's see what happens when you score a goal, if we can. Actually, I can't remember which one's me, if I'm in the white or, uh, or in the uh, sort of black or green, I suppose, or unfilled coloured shirts. Let's just see what's going on here. And the goalkeeper's nowhere to be found, he's beyond the goal. Oh, it's absolute garbage. Three and a half out of ten. Right. Um a rather famous World Cup game by Arctic. And I'll tell you why shortly when you see the next game. This is released in 1985 and was reasonably popular at the time. And uh, I think you would have paid 7.95 on cassette for this back in the day. Yeah, and it's completely knob. You can tell from the NAF graphics and NAF music and presentation so far. It's not a full 11 players per team, of course. Everyone moves at the same pace. Scrolling's crap. And only two players are active at the same time. Let's try our old zigzag technique. A uh, horrible colour clash going on there as well. Come on guys, we're not spectrums. check but I think when I bought this I bought this on budget and it was called uh, World Cup 2 uh, I'm sure it was I'll have to go home and check the cassette um, but uh, it was exactly the same as this game World Cup so Arctic a little bit naughty there well at least the goalkeeper sort of saves it well, I'm a bit uninspired tonight I want to get this finished I'm quite tired um, so I'm going to sort of end this commentary here, um, just another dreadful football game, two and a half out of ten, uh, computer scored, uh, that will do for this one. Right, on to World Cup Carnival which was the official football game for the Mexico 86 World Cup and this goes down in infamy and legend as a most awful, awful rip off by US Gold. Well, first of all, you got these uh, ha one half of the game is these skill test games, which are obviously a real rush job. Uh, this one's penalties, waggle the joystick, make it, angle your ball, and watch the goalkeeper save it every freaking time. But basically, what happened is um, US Gold made an absolute cock up of the uh, football game they were doing. So what they ended up doing at the last minute is nicking a, nicking another football game that already existed attacking on these crappy uh, skill sessions here well this is just a really what's this naff keep them up section you've got to just bounce it off your head a few times and that's it for the skill section as for the actual football game section you'll see in a second well I might as well say now it's Arctic's World Cup which you've just seen they've basically taken Arctic's World Cup football game which was out uh, a year previous tacked on these awful skill games only two of them. Well, there's three. The other one's penalty saving, which is just the opposite of what you just saw the penalty taking. So they took Arctic's World Cup game, tacked all, tacked all this on, filled the box up with posters and stickers and badges and God knows what. I think you'll remember from a previous game, like Gaza, it's always a warning sign. Ooh, look, they've got some flashing borders there. I remember doing that in basic when I was about six years old. Yeah, here we go, it's Arctic World Cup Soccer. And the cheek of it as well, Arctic Soccer, when it first came out, was 7 95 I think, on cassette. US Gold were charging 9 95 or more. It's an absolute, absolute disgrace, and it just uh, 
reinforces what shysters US gold were. What a rubbish company. Oh god. Anyway. For this game, I'm going to give the worst score possible because it's an absolute disgrace. This can have 0 out of 10. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's summarise. This is the end of the videos. I'm going to give you the top 5 games in my opinion. So at number 5, Micropro Soccer. At number 4, I'm going to put Adidas Championship Football. And at number 3, Mundial Football. And number 2, Italy 1990. And at number 1, there can, em can only be one winner. It's Emily News International Soccer. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed them and see you soon.